This ship is a work in progress. All stats are subject to change. What you see now might not be the final product. Hey guys, no zoom for you here, and hope everybody is doing spectacular. Today we're going to talk about Musashi, and I know I have previewed her, so to speak, through gameplay, but I didn't really talk about Musashi. I didn't get into uh, much about her, how I felt, so I'm going to do that right now. And I'm also going to do something else. Uh, Musashi is kind of pretty big in the realm of high school fleet. And as you know, there is a collaboration between Wargaming and High School Fleet. So, hypothetically, we could be seeing some crossover between the two. That might be why they're bringing Musashi to the game right now. Of course, this is mere conjecture. I am not certain that they're going to do this, and I haven't heard if they are or aren't. But I know not all of you are into High School Fleet anime, that type of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about Musashi, I'm going to talk about my feelings about her, and then in the second part of this video, that's when I'm going to go into the high school fleet type of stuff. I'm going to let you know in advance, so if you're not into that type of thing, I'm not going to force you to stick around for that. I'm just going to uh, tell you and you can cut the video off and go on your merry way with uh, out hearing about high school fleet anime type of stuff. And again, I know it's not everybody's thing, though I know a lot of you do like it. So Musashi, <laughs> well, let's let's talk about her. Um, if you missed my gameplay of her, you probably missed uh, a round that I did pretty decent. Uh, 160,000 damage, almost won the round, sunk four ships, just missed out on a Kraken. It was a fun round, and, you know, how would I describe Musashi? How, how would I... Musashi is a Tier 10 battleship in Tier 9. Plain and simple. That, that is what you're getting with Musashi. You're getting the Yamato's sister. That, and that's exactly what Musashi is. Musashi was the sister ship to the Yamato, and unfortunately her history was even less storied than that of Yamato. And sadly, she, she is the forgotten of the two. So you've got a tier 10 battleship in tier 9. You have an insane amount of hit points. 97,300. 97,300 hit points in a tier 9 battleship. Couple that with 460 millimeter shells. Yes, those are the exact same as the Yamato. I mean, what more do you need to know about this ship? You've got a tier 10 ship in tier 9. This ship is going to shine when you are top tier. When you're surrounded by other tier 9s facing off against tier 7s, the full glory of the Musashi comes out. It's, it's really kind of disgusting what you can do to Tier 7 ships in this thing. I know a lot of people probably aren't going to like it, because 460 millimeter shells do very, very bad things against Tier 7 ships. Now, it's not a full-on Yamato at Tier 9. Your secondaries aren't quite as well. Your AA is eh, somewhat abysmal. It's not the worst, but it's not that good either. So there, there are some definite cons to this ship, but still... 460 millimeter shells at tier 9. 97,300 hit points at tier 9. I know I keep repeating this, but this is basically what this ship is. And as I said, the magic of this ship is when you get top tiered, not that that happens that often. We all know that if you're playing tier 9, you usually wind up with tier 10s. Which even that's not that bad if you're in the Musashi, because you're going to get more XP for beating up on tier 10s than you would if you were in a Yamato. So that, that's kind of a bonus, and your guns are going to do just as good against Montanas and Kerfirsts and all the other tier 10 ships. But the other thing about this ship, if you're top tiered, is its staying power. Your ability to just float along as a massive pool of hit points. You are a tough nut to crack. You are hard to take down. You are hard for the enemy to take you down. You can take lots of torpedo hits. You can take lots of shell hits. You have staying power, and in a top tier match, when you're tier nine on tier nine, eights, and sevens, that lasting power is what helps win rounds. That lasting power is what keeps you in the fight, and it's a bane to the enemy. So that's where the magic and the glory in the Musashi is. It's in that 97,300 hit points in a top tier, tier 9 battle. Is she anything special? Well, if, if you've played the Yamato, you've, you've played the Musashi. That's exactly 
what it is, minus the secondaries in the AA, but you're in Tier 9. So, what are my thoughts overall of the Musashi? And keep in mind that this is going to replace the Missouri. This ship is going to be the one you have to use your free XP for. And rumor has it, as of right now, this ship is going to be 900,000 plus free XP to purchase. Yes, that's more than the Missouri. And the caveat here is that this is not going to print credits like the Missouri. It's not going to gain you the just absolutely insane amount of credits that the Missouri will. So why do you want this ship? If it's not going to print the same amount of credits, why do you want to spend 900,000 plus XP on this ship? Well, the easy answer to that is it's a Tier 10 battleship in Tier 9. And I know I sound like a broken record because I've said that over and over, but that's what it is. And Tier 10 battles aren't for everyone. Some people absolutely hate Tier 10 battles. So for the ability to take a Yamato and have the chance the chance of being top tiered in tier 9? That might appeal to a lot of people. There is a lot of appeal to that. For everyone else, though, I don't think they're going to be too happy with it. And to be honest, in the majority of the rounds I've played, a lot of the comments were that the ship has no business being at tier 9. So, this is a very interesting move on the part of World of Warships. And I can understand why they would have put this ship at tier 9. You don't want two clones at tier 10. You just don't. So bringing in another free XP ship varies things up. The Missouri's been out for a while. I know a lot of people are probably still grinding towards it. And if you are, I hope you get it. But this varies things. It, it adds something new. It adds some new flavor. So overall, I enjoy the Musashi because you can absolutely bully tier 9s tier 8s and tier 7s with those 460 millimeter guns. It is an enjoyable ship to play in. It's a lot of fun, especially with that large amount of hit points. And again, I don't think other people going up against it at tier 7 are going to be too keen on it and enjoy it too much, especially if you're in something like a Belfast where even three shells from this thing are absolutely going to wreck you, but it is what it is. This has been the decision of war gaming and this is the ship that we're going to get for free XP. Now, another reason why this ship might be coming to Tier 9 and why it might be a free XP ship, and this is your cue right now. If you do not like high school fleet, if you don't like anime or any of that, now's the time to go ahead and click off. I thank you for showing up and listening <laughs> to my thoughts on the Musashi, but now I'm going to delve into the other stuff. So... For those of you who know what High School Fleet is, I'm going to briefly cover it for those that don't, who've stuck around. So High School Fleet features a world in which flooding has rendered the vast majority of the planet a ocean. As a result, girls attend the Yokusaka Girls Marine High School with the attempt to become part of the prestigious Blue Mermaids. The show centers around Akeno and the Harakaze, which you might remember that from the previous High School Fleet collaboration, the Harakaze, that... Very nice Japanese destroyer. Musashi focuses heavily in the first season. It's the main foe, if you want to call it that. I, I don't know if I'd call it a foe because it's just a ship. At any rate, Akeno's friend, Moeka, is in command of the Musashi. She has been given command because she finished very, very high in her class. The Musashi is a very prestigious command. So she takes command of that. Her friend Akeno takes command of the Harakaze. And the season starts off and all of a sudden ships are just mysteriously taken over and it turns out they are afflicted with a totalitarian disease that affects the crew and the crew turns into zombies or what have you. Things are not good, especially aboard the Musashi where Moeka is and she actually manages to avoid the disease. She locks herself in a safe room with her remaining crew and this is where the battle happens, the big culminating battle between the Harakaze and Akano against the Musashi. Ultimately, Akano and the Harakaze prevail, and she is reunited with her friend, Moeka, and Musashi is a quote-unquote good ship again. So, I might be glossing over some key facts if I am sorry. Just consider this paraphrasing so that those that are not in the know are in the know. Now, why is this important? Why does this even matter? Well, again, Wargaming had a very, very large collaboration with High School Fleet. You had the High School Fleet Graf Schwe. You also had the 
High School Fleet Harakaze. You had all those captains that were from the actual show. And we can hypothesize that Wargaming might be taking that route with the Musashi. Given how important the Musashi is in High School Fleet, one might assume that there will be a tie-in in some shape or form. Now, what is that going to constitute? It could be something just as simple as camouflage. High School Fleet has its own unique camouflage for the ships. It's actually not that bad looking. It's not garish or anything. So it might somehow make its way into the game in the form of missions. We don't know yet. I think that is the most likely way that there's going to be a tie-in, probably getting camouflage in some way, shape, or form. There might be missions, but if I recall, there really weren't many high school fleet missions. I, I can't remember. I, I think the Harakaze and the Grafschwe were pretty much just premiums for purchase, nothing more. So, there you have it. That's, that's high school fleet and why Musashi is important and the fact that it's coming to the game, why it's important for both the game and high school fleet. So, if you're into this type of stuff, if you're into high school fleet... Again, it is highly possible that we could be seeing some high school fleet tie-ins with the Musashi now that the Musashi is coming to the game. Anyhow, guys, uh, that, that's pretty much it. Musashi, 460mm guns at Tier 9. <laughs> Very cool. Very unfortunate for Tier 7 ships, but thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more, and I am out.